Okay, here we go. Next step in the proton proton chain reaction. So the next thing that's going to happen is another proton is going to somehow find one of those deuteriums that are flying around. And they are going to go form then for the first time the neutron with the two protons in it. Okay, so when we finally get the atom with the two protons, one, two on it, look on the periodic chart, two protons uniquely in, uh, identifies helium. So we finally get some helium. And what this is going to be called here, this is the Greek letter gamma. This is a gamma ray. So a gamma ray actually comes out. So you're beginning to see a couple things here. You're beginning to see, one, why the sun should definitely be drawn as mad. I mean, it is producing gamma rays, for crying out loud. It is producing neutrinos and positrons. Why would that be a happy object? Okay. The second thing is that I hope that you can see now a little bit why this is called the proton-proton chain. Because see, what happened here, step one up here produced the deuterium when the two protons by themselves just came together. And as you can see here, that it's another proton which is flying around in there. Another proton flying around in there finds some of that deuterium that was made in another step and reacts with it to finally form helium. So that's why it's called a chain because one step in one reaction sort of fuels the other. So I'll just draw a circle here around this deuterium and say, hey, it was really important for that to happen for this second step. And that line there is why this is called a chain. The reaction sort of sustains itself. It needs all of its parts in order to work, and that's where the term phrase comes from. Okay, so there's one more step in the proton-proton chain. Number three here is then these heliums start getting into the action there. So I know this is helium because there's one, two protons in it, and that's just a neutron that's in the nucleus. And another helium come together. So these are both heliums here. both heliums, they're going to come together and form some atom that has two protons and two neutrons. And I say some atom, but we're not afraid of that because that is just good old helium normal. You're just going to find that on the periodic chart. So something that has two protons in it and two neutron neutrons in it, that is what you find on the periodic chart that has the sort of the HE with a box around it and a little two in there. That's good, good old helium in there. So this one at this point here is not quite normal helium yet because it doesn't have enough neutrons, but it is a form of helium because it has the two protons in it. Okay, so that's not it though for this step though. So we get the normal helium and plus what also comes out is a couple more protons, a proton and a proton. And so we can label those hydrogen if you want, put an hydrogen there and hydrogen there and plus a bunch of heat comes out. So H-E-A-T, heat. And you can associate that with any kind of heat you want. Like you can draw some red fiery sort of animations or um, marks around or if you want, because that's just where heat comes from. So that is it for the proton-proton chain. It has those three steps in it. And one more thing on it being a chain again, and I'll use my purple color here to illustrate that. One more thing on it being a chain. So, we get this helium coming out, and this is just sort of, you know, hangs around. Actually, I don't really even want to put a purple circle around that because it's not part of the chain at the moment. But these two protons that came out of this reaction, if I go back up here, look, those are part of how the chain, the proton-proton chain starts. So you see, once again, you see that chaining or the self-sustaining reaction here. Let's maybe write that word down here. Self-sustaining. Now, the last time I heard that word, I think was in the movie Spider-Man with that guy, Doc Ock or whatever, with all the arms. He was working on some self-sustaining reaction. Well, this is sort of what we're talking about, self-sustaining right here, where these protons that come out at the very last step <clears throat> are used again to keep the reaction going up here in the first step. That's a chain reaction and a self-sustaining reaction. Okay, so in the next video, we'll review this proton-proton reaction using a nice visual graphic.